is up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Nutty Beauty Fitness here. It is currently 6.18 in the morning. I did wake up at 4. <laughs> I could not go back to sleep. I thought I was being stood up, but actually my friend is on his way. What is this video? The plan is to go for a long run. That is the plan of today's video. As you guys know, I was meant to be doing the ultra marathon in Egypt. However, that's been postponed for a whole year. So I thought I would make the most of my fitness and go for a long run today. The most I have ever run is, I'm gonna say 45K or 46K, which I did a week ago, but I did have seven and a half kilos on my back. So. Peanut butter and jam sandwiches, flapjacks, electrolytes. Just need Josh to arrive and then we're out. By the way, we all love Josh, okay? Because without Josh, I wouldn't be an Ironman. He pumped up my tires on the morning of the Ironman. So send some love to Josh in the comments and we'll forgive him for being late. I have a vest. Oh, can I just add it's five degrees. So just a little bit different to the temperature that I would have been running in Egypt, but tomato, tomato, same, same. <laughs> okay. Josh has arrived. Oh, yeah. 7.20, it's nearly go time. We're just getting our trainers on, ready to go. Just a casual Wednesday. <laughs> We're 8.4k in, 50 minutes, had to jump over a little something something, but we're okay. We also went down a few mudslides, <laughs> but all is good, keeping us steady. 5.45 5.45-ish pace Everything's going smoothly so far good to Guys, look at the conditions we are running in My um, my Nike Invincibles were white They're now brown Lovely shade of brown <laughs> We are nearly 21k in So we've nearly covered a half marathon We'll probably be two hours in when we cover it So far so good apart from the mud Right? <laughs> How are you feeling with temperature wise? I'm a good temperature but I feel like I'm going to take a layer off soon can I just add, <laughs> I've got five layers and Josh has two. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna stop filming. Oh dear. You're not a trial run until you fall and flat on your face. <laughs> Guys, the amount of near-death experiences. It's not okay. Left or straight? Uh, I think straight. I might be wrong. How do you stop the uh, GoPro? And turn. Twenty-five point eight k in. Having a morsel solid. Yeah, we're good at the moment. Yeah, we're, we're good. good. We're good. Trusty Patty pigs. <laughs> if I end up sprinting, you know why. <laughs> Forty-one point three kilometers. About to hit. Marathon number one of the day. <laughs> uh, we both got really wet feet because we tried to uh, go a bit too off-road. So yeah, we're running with wet feet. So. A change of socks will come at some point. Oh, and the Percy pigs have been open. Yeah, well and truly been open. Four hours, seven minutes in. Yeah. We have 
done a marathon. It feels kind of weird to be doing a marathon on a Wednesday without like having swum or cycled first. We're not warmed up enough. Ah! Guys, honestly, it's uh, let's just say the running conditions have been a little bit testing today. There's so much mud, you have to be very careful of where you place your foot. There's been some near ankle rolls, but hopefully I just don't jinx it now. <laughs> just about to hit 50k which will actually for me already be a PD, pb distance the most i've ever run is 46k we're yet to hit a pb distance for you getting close though getting close yours is 60k we're nearly there i'll let you know when we hit that 50. <laughs> 535 okay because the gopro <laughs> It's the GoPro, speed. it does. The GoPro adds 10 seconds a K. It's a bit windy, so I'm hoping they can hear. Hopefully. But basically, 50K! Here we go, 50K. Four hours, 54 minutes. 50K! Tick. Home. Short cake. Good. <laughs> yeah. Cheese and onion crisps, as you do. Nutrition is key. <laughs> what flavour, Steph? cheese and onion because Grant's not anywhere near. <laughs> Pretty good. Perfect ultra marathon fueling. We're actually doing good. We're 55k in. Spirits are high and the further we get into this the more excited I get because it's like it's all new. Never run this before so every k is a is a new PB. And that's exciting. Pray for Josh guys, not Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit 60k. Woo! One more k and that's your PR distance. It will be, yes. We've covered 60k in five hours and 55 minutes. And yeah, we were just kind of checking in on how we were feeling. Our bodies are hanging in there. Yeah. Ankles and knees can somewhat feel that we've been running for it's the areas a decent that, amount of time. Yes, yeah, the areas that you'd expect. So far, so good. Every now and then I'm realizing what we're doing and it's nice to occasionally do a bit of a nutty challenge and I feel it has been a bit of time since I did something like this, so I'm enjoying it, but I know that there will be a part where it will get a bit more physically demanding, but for now, we're just gonna go with the flow and enjoy it. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Six hours and 56 minutes in, 70K. <laughs> and like, honestly, the smiles aren't fake. <laughs> we're, no, no. we're genuinely like having a good time we're still chatting and we're still smiling it definitely makes the time go faster oh, we need to go right here <laughs> when, when you've got someone to run with because like i'm trying to think if i ran 70k on my own yeah. how would i be feeling i just don't know yeah i don't think my morale would be as high <laughs> i think i'd have questioned my life choices a little bit more <laughs> very glad that I have friends just as crazy as me. Feelings mutual. You're doing so, 5.30 30 k pace right now, by the way. Oh, it's calm down. down. The plan is we're going to head to the car to grab a central peanut butter and jam sandwich. Oh, yeah. Potentially switch our socks. socks. The trainers are honestly hideous. It feels nice to like run on a road. Should we go left because there's a car? We're not used to it because we've literally been running around a lake so this is nice it's a nice change up yeah we've not really seen like real people for a while <laughs> so this is nice we've not had to listen to any music honestly it's going so well genuinely i did not expect to be feeling good. so good yeah given the distance but yeah. i you know i won't speak too soon because you never know when you're doing something that you've never done before you might hit a wall so yeah but for now we're all good what are we gonna do we're gonna take it 10k at a time 10k at a time yeah absolutely yeah instead of one step at a time like it's a bit slow <laughs> yeah, yeah problematic when uh 
the footpath is uh <laughs> it's not really footpathing but no. we've been through quite a lot is this just another one it doesn't seem to go on for very long so okay. let's try it and see wish us luck it really is bad wow i've never run through so much mud in my life probably my first ever trail run would you call it a trail run Trail runner. trail runner there's literally been no road surface and that's what i'm used to running in it looks like we're lost but yeah, it does. just gonna keep going <laughs> Do you want a peanut butter and jam sandwich? Fuck yeah. Thank you. <laughs> peanut butter and jam pit stop. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> so how much have we done? 76K. 76K, yeah. Just hits different after 76K. You guys, rookie error. I filled up loads of water um, and I left it at home. Guys, it feels so weird, you know, when you stop. Isn't it? The ratio of peanut butter to jam. I'm alive! <laughs> so good. <laughs> We're gonna eat this and then... Yeah. I know because I've seen wow. better days. You need to evaluate your blisters a little bit. Oh yeah, I can feel blisters on my little toes. So that's why I'm gonna change my socks. We've gone. Full outfit change. We have full outfit change. <laughs> Fresh socks. I got some fresh shoes. Literally changed all my layers. <laughs> all I'm gonna say though, guys, the blisters, not too nice looking. The legs don't feel too good either now. We'll stop start again. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Absolutely. We've also got our head torches because when I suddenly just become Duh. pitch black, you can see the last of our pretty faces. We're on 76.6K. Been like just sub six minute K pace for the whole way. Yeah. And it's pretty solid. Pretty solid. I'm now, gonna enjoy some fudge <laughs> this fudge is sensational running an ultra it's basically it's an eating contest on the move so i think i feel like you're the best prepared um, yeah. <laughs> yeah i've also got another peanut butter and jam sandwich on my back <laughs> <laughs> we just hit 80k in this video we never discussed distance however <laughs> at this point less than a half a marathon to go if we want to hit 100k i'm sorry i'm sorry what no. so it kind of makes sense doesn't it yeah i think we should give it a try definitely like i think we're both moving quite well still like yeah. we've definitely got some spore spots and the knees are a bit sore but we're being sensible 100k game on let's go 80k form check <laughs> <laughs> can you do a form check for me absolutely can yeah well oh yeah <laughs> love it in summary we're, we're okay we're okay we're okay everything's actually gonna be fine everything's gonna be fine <laughs> i can't actually believe it guys we've seen the sunrise this morning and now the sun setting it's 4 40. welcome to england <laughs> Eight hours and 24 minutes in, we've just hit a double marathon. Wow, I never thought those words would exit my mouth. 84.4 but... kilometers, wow. <laughs> this is uh, unknown territory. This really is. <laughs> I mean, it's been unknown since the uh, 46k mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Collectively, we're doing very well. Honestly, after that stop, we were both like, oh my god, like, yeah. but. We're finding a groove again. We'll just keep chugging along. The blister on my toe is about to explode. Sometimes you can't see what you're capturing in the GoPro. I'm having a chocolate peanut butter thing and... Steph has very kindly shared a MP oh, Jack. flapjack with me. Like these are like gold dust. <laughs> <laughs> Code nutty to save. <laughs> Always plug. <laughs> we just did a pee in a bush. About to 89k. Wow. says nine hours, 10 minutes, 90.8K. I'm not looking at the camera because otherwise I'll blind you, but Josh casually just said, you know, we've done 91K. What? I can't believe we're literally 9K away from 
a hundred. Blowing my mind, but I'm still in really good spirit. My right knee is just kind of... It's got pissed off. But what's really odd is that oh. my left knee was the one I was concerned about before starting this. We've only been running just over nine hours. For 99k, literally 1k, and then we've only gone and done it. We've only gone and done it. So, I mean, at this point, I think it's safe to say we got this. It's just gone. Yeah, buddy. Oh, Let's go. 100k. Done. We did it. Completed did it. it. Sprint finish to the car. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no, you're going to kick me here. You saved your best till last. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. And the crowd goes wild. 100k. 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 We did it. We did it. 10 hours, 14 minutes. Oh, oh. Smashed it. What a day, what a day. Wow. Debrief, we'll debrief shortly. shortly. 100k, okay, but well. we stink, so oh, Josh right, is going to yeah. have a shower yeah. first. Yeah. Go on, look how many layers. The windbreaker. Yeah. Well, it looks like you've got big hips. <laughs> it's because of the GoPro. That jacket. <laughs> then we take layer number two off. And then long sleeve. That is way too <laughs> And then, V-neck. The go-tos. Go on, ask me questions as if you're interested, because that would be the, in the questions that they would ask. So, tell me, at what point yeah. did you know you were going to do 100 km? When we hit 70k, yeah. I was like... So close now. It mm. got exciting at 50k, because Why? I've obviously... 46k was the most I'd ever done, mm -hmm. so once we hit 50, I was like, Josh, the further into it, the more excited, the more yeah. motivated I am to do it. Yeah. Josh and I did not set out today to run 100K. Josh messaged me a couple of days ago and said, I'd be up for running with you if you wanted to do a long run to just like take advantage of the fact that you did a few long training weeks in order to do the Desert Ultra Marathon. And when I responded to Josh, I said 100k would be so sick, but yeah. it was honestly a throwaway comment. What was the terrain like? Hideous. We're talking mud where like You're shit. Gonna go. You know like when you when you nearly go and then yeah, it yeah. really scares the shit out of you. Yeah. And were you doing bits walking like up hills? We took a lot of time when we stopped by the car. Yeah. And it was mainly my fault just because When when like how many times did you stop by the car? Just once. Okay, so it was like once to the car and then carry on. Well, we stopped when we went to the toilet. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We, we basically, like throughout the whole run, Used obviously I'm gonna show elapsed time and, and time it took, like moving time. I think moving time, including walking, for like a couple of uphills was 10 hours, 15 minutes. Yep. And then total elapsed time was 11 hours. Yeah. So on the time where we stopped to change. Yeah. Like. That was the we, longest. Yeah, because like we had so many layers. Yeah. We also changed our socks. Yeah. We also refilled our bottles. It takes a while. And obviously you can see how many layers I was wearing now. That's how many layers I was wearing in the first time. So yeah. take them all off. Then obviously like torch or everything we're doing like an interview like you know he's asking the important <laughs> questions um what about nutrition variety was there yeah. smorgasbord variety. yeah percy pigs morton my protein flapjack yeah a peanut butter jam sandwich i also got a millionaire's slice from the cafe amazing <laughs> oh, what, when you went around graphic yeah. the what, fudge what we had Oh, oh that, that was so good. So yeah. yeah, by the way, I did bring her a lot of fun, <laughs> yeah. but I don't think much was left for the run. Didn't make it. <laughs> Do no, you yeah. think it would have been completely different if you were doing solo runs? I can't imagine me just running 100k off the cuff on my own. Yeah. Never say never, but... <laughs> Most people would do it as an event, and then I guess you're not really on your own. Always kind of at least close to people, and or there's an event, and there's people or, cheering, yeah, yeah. like, whereas you wouldn't get people cheering. And another thing, we didn't have aid stations, <laughs> so we were like, everything was just in our pockets, or yeah. like, in the back. Is it harder cardio-wise, on the muscles, the joints, or mentally, for you I guys? Think if you're on your own, we mentally would play a bigger factor. Yeah. Because we had each other, it was yeah. much better. We didn't have to tap into no. any mental. Cardio-wise, chilling. chilling. <laughs> That's fine. Like for me, yeah, joints, that right knee. Muscle soreness will be high tomorrow. It's crazy, like, we didn't even have any like stomach issues. Right. We're running for a long amount of time and gels. Yeah. And Both of you do enough now 
to have trained your stomachs, probably. Yeah, yeah I did say good. that. Do you want water? Yeah, these are the ones that we were supposed to take. Yeah. yeah. I'm I saw them and I, I was yeah. like, oh, you muppet. I made up two in my car that I brought. Oh, yeah, yeah, So we did have some more electrolytes. Have any near misses trips, like a couple of trips? I a few trips, like some potholes. Like, I a Bambi over here, like, roll my ankles. Oh, no. So I'm used to that. Like, yeah, yeah. When you hit the 100K, did it feel a bit like when you finish a race? When we hit 100K, we kept on going just in case. Yeah, just classic strong. Yeah. So, yeah. so we were like, whoa, 100k! And then I was like, well, we'll just keep running. Just we, keep won't, running we won't yeah. celebrate right now. Yeah. So. The classic Strava. Pause this for a second. Yeah. You're on your post exercise hype that this happens every time and she doesn't stop and she thinks it's been two minutes and it's been like 45 minutes. It's been 16 minutes. So let's order. Grant has gone to get us fish and chips and curry sauce and Pepsi Max. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a great time. The stats 197k. Average pace was six. 605 per kilometer. Moving time was 10 hours and 15 minutes. Elevation was 940 meters. That's pretty. That's pretty. Like, I didn't think it felt quite hilly, like going around the lake. What are our closing thoughts? I'm like a bit shocked that we've we've literally yeah. done that. And, and how do you feel about like going from 46k to 100k in one in one hit? <laughs> like you've also done a madness because you've gone 60 to, to 100. 100. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a massive deal. Today has made me think: what could be done? if I entered a 100k race, because I trained for four weeks for the desert. But you were training for a multi-day, not all yeah. of this in one go. It's a different ball game. It really is. In fact, I'm gonna tell you the actual correct stats because I don't wanna. Training for the desert, 44k on week one, 73k on week two, 103k on week three, and 101k on week four. Decent progression, and then you've just taken that 100k a week and done it in a day. And <laughs> done it in a day. So, I do want to say though, don't do as I do. <laughs> because, like, we got very lucky with how we've come out of that yeah. unscathed. And I don't think we would have done it solo either. I think yeah, I don't think so. If in, in case anything happened, it's things a can, massive things distance. Things can go wrong. Yeah. Like, so, you have to treat it with respect, and I feel like we did. That's why. We checked in like every like 10k and the goal was always to just keep going providing we felt okay which yeah we did so that was what we did we weren't stupid we were like checking in with each other asking how we are if there was any sort of pain or like something happened yeah. we would have stopped with that said who wants me to do this the proper way put a proper bit of training in not four weeks <laughs> and see how I do for a 100k race. If you want to see me enter a 100k race, comment down below 100k race. And maybe if, if you know there's any that you've heard of that you've even done yourself, give me your suggestions because you never say never. Never you know, like once you become an Iron Man, like the sky's the limit. Anything, anything, is, anything possible. is possible. Come into the frame because you did this too. I'm so yeah. happy that we did this. Yeah, it was like it was just a really good day out, wasn't it? It as really well, was. So. Honestly, if it wasn't for you just like messaging asking about this, yeah. it wouldn't have happened, and we wouldn't have been at 100k. So Absolutely. we did it. It was a good time. In, like in both senses, <laughs> it yeah, was yeah, a really, great yeah, time, yeah. and we had a great time. So I hope this video has inspired you to go go out and do. Something that feels hard to you. Or yeah, like something that excites you. you. Yeah. Really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will do an outro of the fish and chips when it arrives, but <laughs> that's all from us. Yeah. Right? Stay nice, my friends. Yes, please. Um, I'm just showing them this want... golden um, cod. Yeah, that is, a is that the species of cod? Golden cod. <laughs> golden cod. Golden... <laughs> it's Honestly. Cool. Right, if you made it this far in the video, comment... Golden Cod. <laughs> yeah, please do. <laughs>